Hi, welcome to Regular Tech, the only show on YouTube filmed on the second floor of my grandmother's basement. Today I'll be giving you my long-term review of the OnePlus 7 Pro, and we'll decide if this is a phone that makes sense to purchase in the year of our pandemic, 2020. Let's get to it. Star wipe. Maybe we can't afford, can't afford that. Okay, regular wipe. All right, let's talk specs. This phone has the Snapdragon 855, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.0 storage. It also has a 6.7 inch 1440p 90 hertz display. It has three shooters on the back, a 48 megapixel, a 16 megapixel, and 8 megapixel. On the front, it has a motorized pop-up, that means no notch, no cutout, that is 16 megapixels. Inside, it's packed out a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which is capable of charging at 30 watts using OnePlus's warp charging technology. So what are my thoughts on the design? I really like the design. This is the navy blue variety I have, and it really pops, especially in sunlight. It's kind of iridescent. It's obviously a fingerprint magnet because it's Gorilla Glass 5 front and back. Uh, it's got all rounded edges, so it's very comfortable to hold. A little bit slippery. And I'm honestly gonna miss it because it's, it's a nice, uh, easy to see, bright display. As you can see, it's got very small bezels, mostly due to the fact that the uh, the front camera is a motorized pop-up. Hmm. <laughs> so you don't have any kind of hole punch or any kind of notch at the top, which is one of the things I look for. I'm just not a fan of notches. Again, this is a 90 hertz display, uh, very smooth. Probably gonna miss that. I haven't noticed a big difference going back to a 60 hertz display, so it's not a, a, not a deal breaker. Triple camera setup. It's got the main shooters, a 48 megapixel with OIS. Uh, it's got a three point, it's like three times zoom, which is an uh, eight megapixel also the OIS, and then it's got an ultra wide that is 16 megapixels with no OIS. And then the front one is a 16 megapixel as well. So it'll do pretty much all the video modes I'm looking for. 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second, 1080 at 30 or 60. It'll also do uh, slow-mo, uh, 1080 at 240, 720 at 480, so you can get some pretty good slow-mo video. Not quite as fancy as some of the 960 FPS we get on uh, other phones, but pretty much acceptable. It's got a 4,000 milliamp battery. And even though this thing is Gorilla Glass 5, front and black, back, there is no wireless charging. It is USB Type-C, and it does come with a 30 watt warp charger, which is pretty good. I think the most I've seen it charge is about 27, 28 watts. Uh, I had it down to 39% earlier, and it was charging at around 22 watts. Still pretty quick. It's definitely, uh, when you plug it in, you gotta go do, some, go do something, you got five minutes to charge it, 10 minutes to charge it, you'll get a significant chunk of your uh, capacity back. And when it came out, the, the bottom end of this was like 529, this was 749 when I got it. And in general, it served me well. It's, it's pretty good for basic photo shooting. You're, you're gonna have to do touch up I mean, I'm pretty basic as far as that goes. Google Photos Auto, for the most part, fixes it, because usually it's the usual deal where it's just a little bit darker than I want. Rarely do I have to do anything else than uh, brighten up the photos a little bit. There's, of course, no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is actually uh, a problem when this I was trying to use this for making videos, because I want to plug in a microphone, and with my Spaghetti Noodle Godzilla Monster of USB Type-C 3.5 adapter, then you have to use a split end microphone headphone adapter, and then you plug it in your microphone, I just could not get it to work. It's not that maybe I couldn't, but I already had the new phone, so I didn't try as hard at that point. But if that's something you're interested in, keep that in mind. On the other hand, uh, I have shot video with this, and the audio is quite good. I can pick stuff up and not too much background noise. Not a lot of weird stuff. So I'm quite happy with, honestly, uh, I'm gonna miss this for the display. This is a really nice display. 
Polygon. So like I said, now does this phone make sense in 2020? Yeah, I think it does. It's it's flagship specs came out at a low, relatively low price even at the time, and now honestly you can get them for 400 sometimes new on deals. And if you can find a, a gently used example, that's honestly a great deal. If you're looking for some of the stuff I'm on, which is again I don't like notches, I don't want cutouts, so that's good. The fingerprint sensor. It's okay. It's better than the one I had on the S10, which again, I got rid of that phone because of that. It's usually effective. You know, I, <laughs> this phone is not advertised as having any kind of weather protection, waterproofing. Uh, but if you take apart, when you take out the SIM tray and stuff, you will see it has the seals. So they they did it. They didn't get certified. So I've, I've definitely, you know, relaxed in the bathtub. After a long day of whatever it is I do. And it was nice to have the phone in there. The sensor will work pretty well even when your fingers wet. So it's actually a little bit better than a capacitive sometimes because of that fact. So I would definitely say this is a, a good buy in 2020. So that's pretty much it. Didn't want to go into too much. This has been my long-term review. Overall positive. This is my first OnePlus phone I got after a long time of trying to get one. Since the original days, I just never got that lottery ticket, that invite to purchase in time. By the time I ever got one, I'd already had a different phone. Oh. One feature I will miss is this uh, toggle slider like you have, I think, on iPhones. You can actually put it into ring, vibrate, and silent. Pretty nice. That is actually a feature. I will add to my wanted feature list of all phones, even though I think it's going to be hard to find. And then this background. Well, again, thank you for tuning in. This has been another short blurb from yours truly. See you next time.